Timo, in your first full year on the ATP World Tour, you shot to number 43 in the ratings. Did you exceed your expectations last year with your performance? Uh, in the beginning of the season, I did, but uh, I think pretty fast during the season, I felt uh, I felt pretty comfortable on the tour. So uh, I'm happy uh, with the way I ended it up, and uh, yeah, 43 was a good start uh, of the fir of my first year. And after such a great year, do you feel like you need to add anything to your game or just keep doing the same things better? Um, I think I have to keep doing the, improve the things which I was working on already. Um, I think that's the most important for me to, uh, to continue the way I went last year and uh, to improve this year even more than, than last year and hopefully I can make some big steps again. During the off-season, can you specifically tell me uh, one or two things that you did work on? Uh, a lot on my tennis to get more aggressive on court and to get a little bit more decent in my game and a lot of physical stuff so I think those two uh, were the biggest things. Any particular uh, fitness type of work, any exercises, any mountain biking, anything like no, that? No, nothing special, just, uh, just weights and, uh, and a lot of running. So. Now your full name is quite a mouthful. Can you uh, say it for me and also tell me the significance behind the two middle names? Uh, Timo Karsten Janik. I have no clue uh, the two uh, last names, where they come from, or just should ask my mom. <laughs> and just finally, you've, you've worked uh, with uh, Gil Reyes, Andre yes. Agassi's uh, former trainer out in uh, Las Vegas. Can you tell me about that experience? Uh, it's great to, uh, to, get, uh, to get work with him. Uh, it's, I think my fourth time uh, was it in the off-season this time. He's a, he's a great yeah, a great guy who worked with a lot of great players, especially Agassi. And yeah, it's great to uh, to get this experience. And uh, to, yeah, for me, it's an honor to work with uh, with those people over there. Also with Darren Cahill, from uh, who's working there as well. So it's good to get used to the to those guys, and uh, and yeah, they can help you a lot. Sure. Tino, good luck for the Australian swing. Thanks.